Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and manage keys with QLM Pro. To create a license key, click the Create Activation Key button. The Create License dialog appears. Select your product, the number of keys to create, and the number of activations per key. If a customer purchases several copies of your product, you have two options. You can either create an activation key for each copy, or create a single activation key that can be activated on multiple computers. We call the latter Multiple Activations Key. It is the recommended option. QLM manages the number of activated licenses and prevents the user from activating more than the allowed value. Floating Seats QLM supports cloud-based and on-premise floating licenses. When implementing floating licenses, your application must check out a license at startup and check it back in when it exits. For cloud-based licenses, the checkout check-in process occurs against the QLM license server. For on-premise floating licenses, a floating license database must be installed on-premise at the customer site in order to manage the checkout check-in process. The floating seat setting also allows you to control the number of instances of your application that can run in a terminal server session. The license model allows you to categorize this license as permanent, trial, or subscription. To associate a license with a customer, select the email address of the customer. If the customer does not exist yet, simply click Add to create the customer. Duration-based evaluation. Specify the duration of the trial or subscription license. A maximum of three digits is allowed. Date-based evaluation. Enter the date on which the trial or subscription will expire. This date has precedence over the duration specified previously. Maintenance plan. When maintenance plan is checked, license keys become version agnostic. Use this option if you have offered your customer free upgrades to future versions of your software. Bundle ID can be used to reference the collection of related products that a customer has acquired. The QLM license wizard allows customers to manage license keys associated with a given bundle. Features. Select the features to enable in this license. The Save Default button allows you to save default values for all the settings specified in this dialog. The next time you click Create Activation Key, the selected default values will be automatically set. User Data tab. Here you can associate any data of your choice with the license in the User Data field. Product Properties is where you specify the values for custom properties that you defined on the Define Product tab. Note that activation keys can also be created via an API, the QLM portal, or directly from your e-commerce provider order form. Visit our website for a list of supported e-commerce providers. Once you've selected the desired options, click the OK button. An activation key is generated, published to the database, and displayed in the QLM Management Console. The activation process is typically done from your application via the QLM License Wizard or an API call. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will perform the activation from within the QLM Management Console. This is sometimes required to activate a license key on behalf of a customer that does not have an internet connection. Note that QLM offers several automated options for offline activation. 
These options are covered in another tutorial. To activate a license key, you must specify the computer identifier. This is a unique identifier of your choice, such as computer name, a MAC address, a motherboard serial number, or any value that uniquely identifies the system. When a key is activated, a computer-bound license key is generated. This license key embeds the computer identifier. When activation occurs from your application, the computer-bound license key is created by the license server, returned to your application, stored on the end-user system, and then validated subsequently every time the application starts up. The Edit button allows you to edit fields associated with a selected license. For example, you can update the features associated with a license or the number of allowed activations. Any updates performed on the server can be automatically picked up by the client the next time they connect to the server. The Deactivate button allows you to deactivate a license key so that it can be used on another computer. The Extend Expiry option allows you to extend a trial license or renew the subscription of a customer. The next time the customer starts your application, QLM automatically detects the new expiry date and applies it to the client without any user intervention. Create Trial Key allows you to create trial keys that you can embed in your application. Trial keys created here are generic and not tracked in the database. If you want to track details about users evaluating your application, create trial keys from the Create Activation Key menu item. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.